why you will never hear from the narcissist ever again. Narcissists are known to discard their sources of supply. They are known to act harshly and disgracefully before leaving a situation, which would then make it very difficult for you to work on them back. They cause so much damage to your life. They say and do whatever they think will hurt you the most. To the point where you can no longer see them in the same way ever again. And when you start to see them differently, they sense it. They realize that you are no longer susceptible to their manipulation. You're no longer validating their false self. And a source that no longer validates their false self is no longer desirable or useful to them. But they're not going to see it as though they've said or done something wrong. And that's the reason why you're now seeing them differently. They're not going to acknowledge what they've done to you. They're not going to hold themselves accountable for their actions. Narcissists are shame-based individuals doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So they use this false sense of pride and arrogance as a coping and defense mechanism to how they really feel about themselves. But because they're so focused on coping and defending themselves, it leaves them unable to look within. It leaves them unable to self-reflect. They could not acknowledge what they've done wrong. Their emotional survival depends on keeping their false self alive. For a narcissist to admit what they've done, they would have to choose their source over their false self, over their image and reputation, which is something no narcissist is going to do. Because there is nothing more important to a narcissist than their image, how they look to other people. They will always put their false self before their source, no matter how useful or desirable that source may be to them. They have a weak, fragile ego that will not allow them to accept or admit the truth or existence of what they have done. They will spend their entire lives in denial, where they have no choice but to create this alternate reality to keep their false self alive. They have to detach themselves from the real world. And live in this little fantasy bubble where they haven't done anything wrong. It's a coping and defense mechanism and it helps them to survive emotionally. Any connection that you are trying to build with a narcissist, they will always find a way to destroy it. They will always say or do something which makes it impossible for you to build anything with them. They always find a way to push you away. To make you not want anything to do with them. They are pathological liars. They tell compulsive lies that do not have a clear motive or benefit. They seem to lie for no apparent reason. And they lie so much that they can't even keep track of their own lies. So if they were to return, they would have a lot to answer for. You would have a lot of questions for them. Questions that they would be unable to answer. Because they lied about so many things. Narcissists don't want to take responsibility for anything. They don't want to be accountable or to blame for anything. So they try to run from the problems they have caused. They try to act like it doesn't exist. 
But deep down they know what they have done. And the shame continues to eat away at them. It is the reason why they're so miserable. Because deep down they know what they are. And they know that what they're doing is not right. And if they were to return to you. It would be like they are confronting their shame. They would be confronting everything they did to you. And that is something they don't want to deal with. They want to pretend like it doesn't exist. Like they never did anything to you. Because they can't deal with the shame. It destroys their false self. Narcissists always shoot themselves in the foot. They always say or do something stupid which causes problems for them and harms their chances of success. They've said and done so many things that have hurt you that you're never going to be able to see them in the same way ever again which makes it impossible for them to come back because they already know that even if you did let them back in you're never going to see them in the same way as you did before. Because now they've tarnished your perception of them. They've made themselves appear less valuable or respectable in your eyes. You no longer value or respect them as you once did. Because of all of the things they said or did to you. And they know they're not going to be able to make you see them differently after that. They know there's really no reason for you to take them back. They have nothing to offer you and they know that. Which is often why you don't hear from them. Because there's nothing they can use to get back in with you. There's nothing you haven't already seen or heard from them. They have nothing to give to you. You might not hear from the narcissist. Because their lives are a mess. They're struggling. But they don't want you to know about that. They don't want to give you the satisfaction. They want to keep you believing in the fantasy. Believing in their false self. They want you to think that their lives are great. They want you to think that they found someone else and they're so much happier without you. When many of these narcissists are also sociopathic or even psychopathic. They would rather be alone than to be with someone they perceive to be of a lower standard. And if the narcissist has hit rock bottom, that's all they're going to get. So in these situations, the narcissist will often isolate themselves. You won't hear from them. It will almost seem like they've disappeared off the face of the earth. The narcissist will often end up in a worse situation after they leave you. They always see the grass as being greener on the other side. And then when they get there, they realize how much better it was with you. But they have so much pride and arrogance. They're too embarrassed and ashamed to let you know about what has happened with them. And that is why you don't hear from them. Because they don't want to give you the satisfaction. They don't want to give you the opportunity to injure their dignity or pride. Because they probably told people all these things about you. They smeared your name in an attempt to ruin your reputation. So that you couldn't have a life without them. Because they're envious and jealous. And if they see you being happy without them. They feel like they made the wrong decision. They feel regretful. So they go around saying all these horrible things about you. 
in an attempt to destroy your chance of happiness. But unknowingly to them, they were just destroying their chance of success. Because now they've ruined that opportunity of ever being able to come back to you. It would make them look foolish. It would make them look like they lack good sense and judgment. Because they would be returning to the person they tried to destroy. They would be returning to the person they told everyone was not right. The person who has now moved on and has a better life without them. Even after everything they did in an attempt to destroy you. After everything they have said and done to you, they know you're not going to give them another chance. They know you're never going to see them in the same way ever again. And they're, ne they're not going to put themselves in a position where they will be rejected. Where they will be humiliated. Because they're full of pride and arrogance. They do everything they can to avoid injuring their dignity. To avoid injuries to their false sense of self-worth and self-esteem. So you're never going to hear from the narcissist ever again. Because they know you're not going to take them seriously after that. They know you're just going to see them as a joke. Because they've destroyed any connection that you once had with them. They've destroyed your perception of them. They've made themselves appear less valuable and respectable in your eyes. They've ruined any opportunities they would have otherwise had with you. So you're not going to hear from them ever again. Because they know there's no place for them in your life. Their lives will continue to decline. They will experience financial difficulties. They may have to move back in with their parents. And after everything they have done with you, they will never find a decent relationship partner. No one of a higher caliber is going to value or respect someone like that. After all of the hurtful things they said to you. After all of the things they did. They know they cannot come back. They know you're not going to take them seriously now. After how they have treated you. And they are fully aware of what they've done. They know the damage they've done. They know the problems they've caused for you. And rather than doing the mature, responsible act of holding themselves accountable for what they've done. They choose to run from their problems. Because they know that the things they've done cannot be resolved. They know there's nothing they can say or do to get you to see them differently after everything they've done to you. So why would they even bother trying to come back when they know they've gone too far? They will stay away. You won't hear from them again. They did everything they could to try to destroy you and they failed. They tried to prevent you from healing. They tried to prevent you from moving on. But 
that they didn't succeed. You made it this far because you didn't let them hold you back. You beat them at a game you didn't even know you were playing. You won and they lost. So they are not coming back to you. They're not coming back just so you can feel satisfied from the thought of knowing that they have failed miserably without you. They don't want you to know that they're struggling without you. They want you to think that everything's great. They want you to think that everything's just fine and dandy. They're living their best lives. Because they have to feel superior. They have to put themselves in a position of power and control. They have to control your perception of them. While they can't even take control of their own lives. Because if you were to know what they're really going through. It would put them at a disadvantage. They want to know all about you. Without you knowing anything about them. They need to have an advantage over you. Because they see you as being superior to them. And that is why they will lie to you. In an attempt to gain the upper hand. In an attempt to gain control over you. They have to try to set you back. They have to blind you from seeing what is really going on. Because you have greater capabilities and potential. Which makes them look foolish in comparison to you. It makes them feel like they are less than you. The narcissist will always have a story to tell you. They will always have a reason or excuse for why you're not hearing from them. They will say that it's because of something you've said or done. They will say it's something to do with a family member or friend. Or maybe they're in a new relationship. But the narcissist is never going to tell you the truth. They're never going to tell you what's really going on. Whenever the narcissist says something to you, there's always something they're not telling you. And they're not telling you because it would make them look bad. Narcissists only care about their image of reputation. That's their main priority. You might not hear from them. But it doesn't always mean they're with someone else. In many situations. They just don't want you to know what's really going on. They don't want to give you the satisfaction at their expense. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. Check out the new Narc Survivor website at www.narcsurvivor.co.uk.
where you can read my blog posts, book coaching sessions and join a support forum. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.